So here's a nice trick in Bitwig Studio, how to create nice evolving sounds. And I should have used that more lately or in the recent times, but I always forget about it. So this is a reminder also for myself to use actually this container here called XY instrument, uh, where you can load in multiple instruments here playing sounds. For instance, here, let's take some, um, let's take some pet sounds here. Something like this. And then in the second box here, you put maybe some kind of pet sound. Then you can fade between this one and this one, right? So let's go to A here, put another police sphere um, drone in there. Maybe this one. And here another one. Uh, let's go to this one and try it out. So the cool thing about this is that you can uh, fade between all of these sources here at the same time. You can find sweet spot in the middle. You can also modulate this, so constantly fade between all of these sounds. But the cool thing is that you also can include here reverbs, right? If you have a big reverb on this pad sound and you fade here completely to the other sound, um, this reverb completely fades away. There's no tail or whatever. You can completely fade between these sounds and even choke some of the reverbs, right? Which is really nice to have sometimes. Right, you can completely remove all the reverbs from all the other sources here. If you don't like it, you can use a reverb on the here on the post FX, right? So they have more like a smooth transition. You can hear the reverb tail from this source still here in B because we have a reverb, of course, on the post. If you don't like this setup, um, we can also do stuff like put this here on different tracks. Um, D maybe on this one. It's on this one. And instead of using this XY thing, right, we can, um, let's go to the mixer here. We can go to the mixer and say on the project panel, we insert here a vector, vector four modulator and modulate these things here to these, um, yeah, mix mixing faders, or actually let's go to zero here, something like this, and then do the same thing with instrument tracks instead of, um, yeah, with the container. Let's go to one here, one, one. So now we have to arm here all tracks. And then you can do stuff like this. Which is maybe what you want if you go here in the middle, right? You can see we have all tracks at the same loudness. Um, so what you can do here, you can also change here this to maybe logarithmic. It has a different fading curve. You can see here we end up on a different position, kind of in the middle. Yeah, and kind of these uh, fading speed settings are a bit different here with the logarithmic setting. So this is something you can do. Um, there's also a possibility to exchange this here for um, an vector eight. If you want to want to use eight sources or eight tracks and morph between or fade between them. And you can also use some of my um, presets I made two years ago. It's, uh, yeah. It's a long time ago, made this, and it's called um, 
Uh, let's go for fader here. Um, there's an instrument fader and there's a FX fader. So they all work kind of the same in the same way. So an instrument fader looks like this. You open up your FX box and then you have multiple instrument layers. You can put in here on layer one, right? You can use this preset on this one here. You can go to layer two and put this, put this in there. This one also, layer three. And the last one on layer four. So now here, you can delete this. Um, here you can fade, as you can see, between these layers with this, this with one knob, basically. It's a linear fade, so you can't fade from here to here, right? You always have to go through these steps, but sometimes you need exactly that. And it's it goes up to eight layers here. And what I do basically is I kind of misuse here the split module in Bitwig Studio where you fade between these sources here, use a value of one as input, maybe you could choose here an ins uh, oh, it's actually using the volume. And then using these modular outs, modulating here the loudness of each of these layers. And I'm using here also a logarithmic. So you have this kind of special fade. You can also switch this here to linear if you want to or exponential if you want to have different curves or different uh, fade settings here between these layers. So this is uh, also available for free. I put the link in the description also to the YouTube video from two years ago where I describe how this works. Uh, there's also an FX version of that and it's probably also useful not only for pads and these lead sounds, uh, this is also useful for bass sounds maybe sometimes. So you have like you know, multiple mid-range bass sounds and some kind of drum bass tune and you want to quickly fade between different patterns, different sounds, then this is here really nice to use. Um, this is one way of doing it and there are multiple ways in Bitwig Studio to do this. Uh, what you also can do is you um, can use again here. Let's put this out. Um, you can also use an audio receiver for that which is also or it has its different yeah different flow to it so here we have basically uh, four pet sounds right they all play their own sound but here we switch all these to no output uh, no output Output. So now you can't hear anything and on this instrument track here we use a chain device and in here we use audio receivers. Actually yeah this one and we bring in here the first post bring this down to zero and then here the second one post this one also the last one here and now you can fade in different tracks right one of these sources here but you can also apply just here a parsec 8 and say we have eight steps we have four steps here and each of these steps modulates one of these sources bring this in and the last one here And then you can kind of modulate this, right? We switch between different input sources, source sounds here. And you can bring up here the smoothness. So you slowly fade between these. You can bring in something like different rhythm to it.
can also go for let's say five steps then modulate your with the with the fifth step you modulate something here in between something like this there's a different rhythm to it and then you can maybe put your delay or some different reverbs or i don't know at the end here to kind of glue these sounds a bit together Like I said before, this is also nice for bass sounds or uh, switching up between uh, bass sounds, lead sounds, and maybe some pad sounds. And then you kind of choke all these sounds. It's like an, I, I think they call it hocket machine, something like that. Um, so you can switch between different sources and also choke all the reverb effects at the same time. And then use here some modulators to rhythmically fade between these sources. It's really powerful also using these uh, XY instrumental containers and uh, the Vector 8 and uh, use here, like I said in the beginning, um, use, use that to fade in different sources or instrument tracks um, Yeah, with the modulator, with the global modulator. So th it's a very powerful technique. It's probably not called vector synthesis, even though it's kind of the same thing, but here you don't uh, fade between oscillators, you fade between real instruments with also effects on it. So it's not really vector synthesis, even though it's kind of the same thing. So that's it. I want to show you basically this to remind you that it's a very powerful technique also for myself to remind myself to use it more in the future. And um, yeah. That's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you probably tomorrow. Bye.